Mohamed Said Luafi, France 24, Mohamed Washington. Uh, Senator, Prime Minister Netanyahu mentioned Iran France this morning. 4. Wouldn't that be uh, making things more difficult for you to close the gap between the two parties? In every aspect of human life, including your personal life and mine. The world is much different today than it was 10 years ago and vastly different than it was 20 years ago. And that is certainly true of the Middle East. It is an area of rapid change, of many conflicting currents uh, that historians and analysts have described far better than I could in any exchange we have here. But obviously, the actions and policies of the current government of Iran have an effect in the region and in the wider world. And they influence what is occurring here. And in my judgment, they add another argument to those which I've already made and which many others have made as to why this conflict should be resolved. It is in the interest of the people involved. And in this respect, the word comprehensive peace is directly relevant. Please recall that when President Obama announced my appointment two days after taking office, he specifically identified comprehensive peace as the objective of U.S. policy in the region. Israel and Palestinians Israel and Syria, Israel and Lebanon, Israel at peace with all of its neighbors in normal relations. And obviously, one of the factors that makes that desirable, in my judgment, necessary for all of these parties is, in part, the actions and policies that have been and are being taken by the government of Iran. Yes, so it is a factor. Even if it didn't exist, there would be a compelling reason for peace between Israelis and Palestinians. But that's an additional factor. Senator Laurie Yuri, CNN. CNN. Um, peace negotiations between the parties have...